Like many other characters who travel through time, our male protagonist also discovers that he has traveled through time after waking up, with no memory of his subject. After rummaging around, I found the ID card of Tabin, 18 years old. This new identity is in a place very similar to Earth, only science and technology developed earlier. We have soon entered the age of the planets, but the most notable thing is the star pets, with star pets specialized in supporting daily activities and work. But there are also war pets trained by war pet masters to specialize in combat. Countries rely on the fighting power of war pets to compete for highs and lows. In this place where strength is important, male protagonist Tabin, after learning about the world, is determined to become strong to survive here. As soon as I opened the door, I met the original owner's younger sister. While trying to examine the silver badge on her chest, she kicked me in the stomach. She looked so small and cute, but I didn't expect the force emitted to be so terrible. So, it turns out that Talang Wei, despite being young, is a first-year battle pet master at Fuang Sun Academy. From her mouth, it seemed like the original owner, Tabin, was not a very good brother, always doing bad things, so the relationship was no longer there at all. I came to call you to take care of the pet store. Your customers are calling me and if you don't come and solve the problem quickly, you'll die with me. At first, I was just lazy at home, but it turned out there was even a store. He followed the map to the store location, only to see the old premises covered in dust, the rusty iron door opened, and immediately the smell of smoke filled his nose. The pet in the cage showed a horrible face and ignored him, freely defecating on the floor of the house. Just as he was about to teach it, someone kicked him far away. He claimed to be the customer, the one who sent to bin his pet pet with black wind, but he locked it in a cage with ten female lions, being abused so much that looking at it looked like it had been there for many years. This customer didn't even bother paying compensation and directly commanded his pet beast to attack him. The ferocious beast unleashed its sharp and chaotic moves, looking ferocious, but it turned out to be just a decoy. The sharp tail hooked into Tabin's throat was the main weapon. Tabin tried to make peace by paying three times as much compensation, but the other guy didn't listen. He ordered his pet beast to unleash a new ultimate move, wanting to blow away the meager life that had just passed through. This black dog actually has white dragon bloodline. Its power cannot be underestimated. As soon as he threw the move, the male lead immediately went to heaven. Unexpectedly, old woman, an electronic board appeared, checked the appropriate purpose, and began to bind the contract. The male lead is a bit proud, there must be a turn to be called time travel. It's glaringly tied to the gas cottage store. What are these pants? Why are they tied to this ruined store? The green light from the system covers the male protagonist. This is the immunity to damage equipped to him by the system. Is this an invincible pervert? After realizing that he had just had his equipment hacked, the time around him returned to normal. The black dog's owner insisted that Tabin be reincarnated, and ordered the pet to unleash another finishing move. The male lead isn't afraid of his child dying, so why should he be afraid of a dog biting him? He immediately muzzled the poor dog and forced him to swallow the bullet he was about to spit out. The pet's owner saw the male lead using his bare hands to defend and became shy. The image of Tabin smiling kindly and telling him to let Thap Fong Den stay at the store for a few days turned out to be like an assassin coming for his life in his eyes. One person and one dog were afraid of breaking the ball, so they ran away. The male lead was contemplating what his face actually looked like when he received a new notification. This is a one-time reward system for a new store, so you must use this power. This system is not a medium size, but a very large one. Not only is the store new, it is also incredibly clean. Tabin saw an unnamed door so he went in to take a look and saw two pet animals sleeping in the cage. It's worth wondering if their size is a bit small, but the system explains that these are two of the nine pet training slots that are adjusted to standard shape while here. The main use is cultivation and treatment. Pets in this state are not hungry or thirsty and excrete. These two pets are both kept by customers. System. To avoid someone coming to cause trouble again, what should I do? Congratulations to the host for activating the main quest. Please choose a training pet of level 3 or higher. I just got bitten by a dog, 
I'm sure my destiny isn't compatible with dogs. I chose a lightning rat. It's a level of a lightning elemental pet. Its skills are nothing outstanding. It's mainly cute to look at. What the hell? That's it. Fighting beasts with adorable skills are three stars. Depending on the owner's training, the pet will acquire different skills. The ghost shows taking the pet for training in the Thunder Peak Cloud Sea World. The ground under to Bin's feet is like a whirlpool, engulfing master and servant, then dumping them both in a barren area, with only a few withered kumquat trees. Lightning flashed like a scene in the wild. The system introduced here is the birthplace of ancient giant beasts, extremely suitable for lightning-type beast guns. The chance of encountering giant beasts under 100 meters is high, but giant beasts from 10,000 meters are extremely rare. Tabin was happily thinking that this was just to scare people. The odds of giant beasts under 100 meters were extremely high, but they couldn't be seen everywhere. Who would have thought that this host had such a foul mouth? As soon as he finished speaking, he saw a super huge king beast 100,000 meters flying above his head. Before he could calm down, it sent his mind flying into the clouds. The host was killed by the king beast 73 seconds ago, and is now waiting to be revived. Warning, if you do not complete the mission on time or fall into the training area before the deadline, you will be given a low rating, with a rating below 60 and you will be killed. Well, why didn't you say that from the beginning? Tabin shouted, there is no beginner area that has king beasts. Encountering king beasts is extremely rare. The host can find suitable prey to attack, because the host sense is too poor. Suggested signed a temporary treaty with beast guns. Before he finished cursing, the host and the gun beast revived. A temporary treaty was signed, successfully linking the emotions and consciousness of the host and Loi Kuang Tu. A horse like animal appeared in front of it eating grass. Tabin was thinking that maybe this was a good opportunity when he felt the fear of the pet animal. Suddenly, a giant centipede appeared and nibbled on the horse in front of him. It was a 10 meter long range baby. It looked less than 100 meters. If you have a chance to kill it, Loi Kuang Tu, jump up and bite its neck. Ta. The lightning rat rushed headlong into the centipede without knowing it had super thick armor, and as a result died from a broken head. Comprehend the collision skill but if you want to use it, you have to be revived. Fortunately, the system gives unlimited possibilities, but if you give 9 lives, you still don't dare to be so reckless. Loi Kuang Tri was revived, following to Bin's command, he devised a new attack method. Instead of foolishly ramming into its armor, this time hitting the gaps in the back and abdomen was actually effective. Before I could celebrate, a giant worm nearby grabbed me. Revive, revive and then revive again, continuously using impact skills like that. Lightning is upgraded to lightning transformation. With the ability to destroy control with this skill you don't have to try to know. Lightning tried to use his strength to spin straight into the swarming centipedes, completing the attack, increasing combat power by one level, progressing the mission by 2%. After the lightning attack, the attack looked extremely impressive. Its physical strength seemed to only allow it to use the lightning transformation once. It needed to rest and then find a new one. The surroundings suddenly changed there was an earthquake. Wasn't it a group of 100 meters level adult giant insects moving up? As expected, the adults were much stronger than the juveniles. They knew how to help to Bin and Loi Kuang. Try eating young onions. Looking at his pet lying on the ground from exhaustion, the male protagonist wanted to give up and give up. There were too many enemies and no matter how many times he revived, he could not win. The pet saw that he was about to have his head devoured by the centipede, so he mustered all his will and released another electric shock, narrowly saving him. As long as he was breathing, Tabin heard the will of his pet in his mind, so he was determined to risk his life. Even if he died, he had to fight to the end. Tabin and his pet died and were revived continuously. Even though their bodies had no problems, they were tired and couldn't breathe. At this time, the main system displays a notification that it is due to exhaustion of mental strength. In the future, when training for combat strength, you must also train your mind to be more stable. While spending some time behind some rocks, the mouse kept calling. At this time, Tabin realized that the terrain here was different from the giant insect's previous residence. 
It turns out that the monster that was standing on the stone foot was a level 10 meter monster, looking ugly and having bad breath. This monster sprayed extremely strong acid at Tubin. Luckily, he quickly avoided it, otherwise he would have to be revived because he lost two legs. Tabin commanded the lightning to try to attack with all his might. His master and servant fought until the sun and moon changed and then completed the task. The host revives 69 times, the pet 847 times, and completes the attack 472 times. Lightning transformed into lightning. His mouse mastered the lightning shadow afterimage skill and received the primary appraisal pet pet item. Aren't the Thunderflash and Thunder Shadow remnants from the legendary 10 Great Lightning type secret techniques? Star pet skills are divided into six levels based on combat power. The higher the level, the stronger the skills. There are some skills inherited from ancient times, called secret skills. Basically, secret skills don't just have to be learned, only the best star pets with innate aptitude can comprehend them, and the system also agrees with this thought. Thundercloud Van Hai Joy is a place with extremely pure lightning properties. It is not strange for Loi Kuang Tu to activate its potential here. The teleportation system for Tabin to leave the Thundercloud Van Hai Joy also severed the temporary contract between the host and the pet beast. Lower City Fuang Sun Academy, Long Jiang City is holding a selection round for the star pet team. This is a battle between the students of the academy to worship their beloved master as their teacher. In that exciting atmosphere, third-year student to Yen Din sighed. In the previous two rounds, she clashed with Jiang Tuyat Han and Di Pao, both of whom are elites of the academy. Defeating her, she still had to face Trong Hu in the next round, but in her hands only Bach Nhaac Ho could fight. We have to welcome Loi Kuang to return to be eligible to have two star pets to participate in the next competition. Thinking so, she went to Tabin's pet shop. He heard that she was the owner of the lightning light and came to pick it up. Ben then felt a sense of loss so he answered the girl a bit harshly. Tu Yen Din thought it was because she picked her up early and didn't let them make any money. Tu Bin picked up Loi Kuang and hugged him, telling his owner not to forget him when he went home. Money paid by Tu Yen Din is automatically converted into energy. The system displays a new task to create a pet for yourself. Within seven days, the reward is a Battle Pet Master skillbook. You can use the Awakening Solution to become a Battle Pet Master. If you fail the mission, points will be deducted. If you have too few points, log out of the server. The shop will be in the host's consciousness. Later, if you want to shop, just chant the spell and it will appear. Tabin immediately clicked to buy the Awakening Solution. This system advertises so much but blocks him from buying due to lack of conversion energy from money at a rate of 1001. His watch showed today's energy as just one point, converted from the 108 yuan paid from cultivating lightning light. What? Is that an illusion? The star pet mastered 10 great secret techniques that were only worth 108 SOS coins. Meanwhile, in the match at Fuang Sun Academy, Trong Hu's Ma Long Kuyan only used one move to knock to Yen Din's Bak Nhaa Ho down. Trong Hu is also a third-year student like her, but has been named the Academy's elite. From the beginning, his strength was already different, and the result of being seriously injured was easy to predict. Tu Yen Din is not bad, but in the last two battles against the two elites of the Academy, the guns and beasts were both seriously injured but still risked their lives like that. Why can't I risk it? I can't win, but by joining Kai Hoang's main team, I can still consider it so I have to take a risk. Tu Yen Din's Bak Nha and Tiger was previously injured, treated, and then beaten by Trong Hu's pet, with almost no chance of recovery. Trong Hu ordered Ma Long Kuyan to send Yen Din riding a crane to the sky, the attack was indeed very strong. Tu Yen Din shouted in surrender, the referee tried to protect his life, but the match was clearly lost. Tu Yen Din's heart was in turmoil. In the next match, only Thunderlight could go on the field, but looking at her pet only focusing on munching on food, she felt there was no hope of bringing it up to avoid injury. Stop. Tu Yen Din has a secret to increase the power of lightning to a maximum of level 3, but it is only temporary. Obviously, letting her level 1 rat fight against a level 3 dog is no different than abuse. Tu Yen Din raised his hand to surrender, 
Thunder Light Test jumped onto the ring. This was considered to be the start of a new match between Thunder Light Test and Demon Dragon Dog. Trong Hyu was angry. If you come up here, I will let you die as you wish, ordering his pet dog to burn the rat to death. Loi Kuang Tu was preparing to respond, using lightning speed to avoid the attack. The owner's voice interrupted Loi Kuang Tu's move and was instantly met with fireballs from the civet. Trong Hyu took advantage of the victory and rushed forward, wanting to slowly go in and drag the mouse. Of course, Tian Din did not know what level the experimental furnace was there. He only knew how to use level 3 strength enhancement techniques and command lightning speed to avoid attacks. Someone in the audience below noticed something unusual. How could they avoid it so quickly? Lightning quickly turned back to his luck to attack, releasing level 7 lightning to burn the dragon dog into a 7-piece silk stick. The power also penetrated the security of the stands, penetrating far away. The audience was extremely surprised. A level 1 mouse was able to use level 7 lightning. Trong Hyu saw his pet being grilled and stuttered without saying a word. The stands were silent at this situation. The winners were Tian Din and Loi Kuang Trai. The crowd roared with excitement at the eye-catching performance. Tu Yen Din did not understand the reason. Just a few days ago he was still weak. Wait, could it be because of that pet store? He is a hidden expert. Hidden in legend. The current match is tied at 1-1 and needs to be fought one more time to decide the winner or loser. Trong Hyu angrily took back the demon dragon dog, calling the level 4 Java Rhinoceros a beast of the earth type to counter the star of the lightning system that he had never used before, clearly hiding a trump card. Lo Kuang Tu was not afraid at all, immediately jumped onto the floor ready to fight. Looking at Trong Hyu, I know that I want to chop the four nobles into a red pig. There's nothing left to argue about this match, but I think Lo Kuang Tu used a level 7 skill and was still able to stand up. Now he's fighting full force. The will to fight, I think, is actually not yet fully developed. As soon as the battle begins, Nam Te Beast's strength is increased to level 2, and its solidity is increased to level 3. With reinforcement from the owner, this rhino can also develop level 5 strength. Tu Yen Din was trying to strengthen Lo Kuang Thu's strength, but saw it rushing straight forward, beyond her increased range. Lo Kuang Tu, not yet enhanced, ran to attack directly. Is that any different from committing suicide? Lo Kuang Tu suddenly turned into two. Rushing through the legs of the rock rhinoceros was a lightning shadow. It couldn't be a level 7 skill. Lo Kuang Tu ignored the lava rhinoceros and rushed straight to the battle pet master behind him. When Loi Kuang tries to attack, he must enter unprotected areas, observe the weak to deal with them first, and reduce the enemy's strength. Trong Hu's level 3 star shield blocked the attack. When faced with lightning, it immediately broke to pieces. Thanks to the godlike referee, he was able to save the person, but when he lifted it up, he also fainted. The miracle happened again, to Yen Din won. She was confused and happy about winning the battle but also confused about Loi Kuang's secret technique to try. It was definitely made by that pet shop. The owner there looked normal, who would have thought that he was a great master with an extraordinary background. To Bin lay in his pet shop, thinking about how to earn 10,000 within 7 days. Today I checked the system and it's simple. Keeping guns and animals in deposit doesn't make any money because the animals deposited are all waste products only collect it every hour, the fee is 10 points. The second service is pet rental, but it's impossible because the host, this guy, doesn't have a pet for himself. Selling food only seems to have some potential, so you need to collect it yourself and evaluate the quality of the food. The entire training area has food to pick, but only dangerous places like the Thundercloud Sea World have the ability to collect rare food, due to the high regional rank. Having said that, to Bin realized that the three days in the Thundervan High World were all about fighting and killing. Knowing that, he spent time gathering food, so he had to look at the list of training areas to find out. The system displays 7,749 areas, but each requires energy points to be transported to. The Super VIP Pro area requires 1,000 points, the High End area also requires 100 points, entering the Intermediate area requires 10 points. People like him with only one point have no choice but elementary. 
The system also appears to tease you that a qualified host must voluntarily collect everything related to pets. It also helped him choose the Exoplanetary Abyss 1002 as the most suitable place to go at present. As soon as you arrive, you will be given a beginner space cube. Inside there are 30,000 ancient flowers and plants that can be assessed by magic, which can be extracted from the concept. The time allowed here is only one day, 30 times. Death free. In such a hurry, Tobin tried to use conceptual appraisal that gave him the ability to see the names and rarity of foods, in addition to showing their uses and effects. Foods that grow in places that are easy to pick are all common and low value. Just out of another area, he saw a stone snake approaching the lava, wanting to swallow it. This lava fruit is a rare item, used to increase fire-type damage skills, and is the most favorite food of fire-type pets. Indeed, high-priced food must grow in the most dangerous places. His storage space was limited, he couldn't take ordinary things, thinking so he risked his life to get food. As soon as he put it into the novice space, he was bitten by a stone snake and died immediately. The male lead is truly an unusually persistent person, struggling to death, risking his life to revive 30 times within a day, being teleported out of the training area, seeing the results filling up the beginner space, struggling. I've forgotten all about it, now I just put it on the shelf to sell for income. Tobin has used a total of 30 revivals, and wants to put the pet food on the shelves as soon as possible. In a certain corner of the city, there was a pet that looked like a sick chicken that had not eaten for several days. Even though it was full of food, this pet did not bother to look at it. The chicken's owner is worried, Honey, you haven't eaten anything for a week, so what should you do now? Standing behind the old man was a member of the Black Orchid Fuang Nak Kin team. Seeing such a situation, he opened the suitcase and said proudly, Grandpa, this is the most expensive pet food on the market today, just give it to me. Taste it, I'm sure it will taste good again. The moment he opened the suitcase, a fragrant smell flew out from inside, and suddenly the little fire seemed to be in heat and ran straight towards that direction. He didn't want all that food. The old man saw that the little fire was willing to eat and quickly told him. Taste it. But just after cutting a few pieces, the little fire started coughing hard. All the food was thrown out along with black blood stains. Brother, this is a dark worm and little fire refuses to eat it. Quickly contact the high-end star pet hospital in the city. Little fire's illness is caused by a heart-eating parasite. It can't be delayed. If you delay, you won't survive. The old man was so scared when he heard his grandson say that that he quickly hugged the little fire and wanted to go to the hospital. At this moment, the doors suddenly opened. The old woman held a red pill and said, Lao fam, the little fire has been saved. Little fire desperately rushed towards the pill, opened his mouth and bit straight into it. His whole body immediately glowed with health, no longer the previous waste product. Grandmother saw this scene and said, just as the shop owner said, the red chu dew has the attribute of wisdom and pure intelligence. If you eat food that is too complicated, if it's light, you won't have an appetite, if it's heavy, you'll vomit blood. You need to use chu dew's chain on time and in the right amount, the condition will improve. If you have any other questions, please come see me. After listening, the young girl looked at the precious pet food she bought and couldn't help but wonder, was she really fed the wrong food? Fam Nak Kin quickly interjected, don't believe that boss assigns attributes to pet food? Never heard of this, grandma, how much is this food? The old woman gave medicine to Chu Du's chains and said that one grain costs 130. Fam Nak Kin was terrified, a box of 12 borders would cost 1,500 yuan. The girl couldn't believe it and said, this isn't a city, why is there such expensive food? Isn't she being scammed? The girl continued to analyze, I heard that some shops are doing illegal business, mixing pet foods with special chemicals, making the pet foods they sell very delicious, causing pets to eat them without stopping. Once you don't eat you will go crazy. The old man just now looked at the little fire eating so deliciously, and when he heard his nephew say something like a slap in the ear, he suddenly felt fear in his heart. Fam Nak Kin quickly asked, Grandma, where is the store? What's the name? I'll go find him. Hearing that, the old lady turned pale and stammered, 
It seems to be called a naughty pet store or something. Brother and sister Fam Nak Kin are now in front of the pet shop, playing naughty. Fam Nak Kin pointed his finger inside and shouted loudly, Dishonest merchant, tell the truth quickly. He angrily banged the table and sold the food to our family. What did you mix in? Tabin is looking at the federal pet handbook, thinking these two people must be talking about lingonberries. Our store's food is purely natural, without additives. After chaining the bird, he used lingonberries. Any bad reactions? Fam Nak Kin firmly does not believe in adding additives. If that's true, how can you make a pet that's anorexic eat non-stop? It's best for you to be honest. Other customers in the store heard such loud voices, and at this time also began to discuss excitedly, discussing the food of the naughty pet store. Nothing confirmed that this store was doing cruel business. Seeing to Bin's silence, the younger sister immediately jumped in. Don't waste words with him. Call a friend from the pet association to come investigate this dark place. Tabin suffered through dozens of resurrections, the fruit of his hard work was not allowed to be tarnished by others. At this moment, he finally couldn't let go of this pair of troublesome brothers and sisters. He gritted his teeth and said, but people dared to say that this was a black shop. Tabin suddenly exuded a terrifying aura from his whole body, coldly shouting, quickly bring the evidence here. She looked at Tabin and thought to herself, why is this person so scary? Fam Nak Kin saw this and immediately waved his fist at Tabin. As soon as he finished speaking, he grabbed his neck, dare to touch my sister, do you want her to die? Tabin is tied to the store, in the store he is the champion. His body suddenly emitted a terrifying shock of energy. With a crack, Fam Nak Kin's hand was directly crushed by invisible energy. Fam Nak Kin was terrified, clutching his injured hand, making a pitiful cry like a pig cutting its blood. At this time, the system suddenly announced a temporary mission. The store was unjustly defamed, asking the host to prove his innocence, to prove that there was no problem with the pet food, to protect the store's reputation from being damaged. Half a point remaining. One-time training reward mission, unlimited number of respawns, five-day entry period. 10 points deducted for failed mission. Tabin was dealing with the crowd when the system suddenly stopped and he couldn't help but be a little stunned. Everyone in the store started talking. The boss said no and immediately started to do something. Go away and this store will never come again. Tabin looked at the situation in front of him, thinking in his heart that something was wrong. If he didn't explain clearly now, not only would points be deducted, future customers would also be affected. Tabin let out a breath, waved his hand to signal everyone to be quiet. He calmly said, I promise there is nothing wrong with the store's food. If anyone has doubts, then I will show you. Those guys still didn't give up, they shouted loudly. What else do they want to express? Take advantage of the time to close the door and straighten up. Tabin angrily roared silently. The overwhelming momentum suddenly made the group of people immediately quiet. Tabin came to the shelf to display the food. He decided to prove it to them. He slowly poured out a blue pill and asked the crowd if anyone had brought a low-level water-type pet. The other girl said, I brought it. Tabin told her to summon it. The girl quickly summoned a cute little seal that was a water-spraying beast. Her class and strategy were both level 1, her qualifications were poor, and she had the ability to spray purifying bubble water. Fam Nak Kin looked at Tabin slowly approaching quickly raised his hand to stop the question, what are you planning to do? Tabin didn't pay attention to his resistance, and turned towards the water beast and said, this is blue raw fruit. The water beast looked at the food in front of him and quickly opened his mouth to bite it. The people who had been watching were noisily discussing, what is Lam Nguyen Kwa? Never heard of it. After swallowing the fruit, the water beast's entire body emitted blue light, and its body began to transform into a giant. Fam Nak Kin saw this and quickly used a star shield to stop his younger sister, thinking to himself, what's wrong with the water squirting animal? This light is probably a level up. With a rustling sound, as the light dissipated, the small seagull now had a different shape, clearly having upgraded to a level 2 water spray beast. Tabin suddenly breathed a sigh of relief, thinking to himself, Blue Yuan fruit can make low-level water-type pets level up. How could this favor be fake? However, 
This water spewing beast's level has increased by one level. Its combat power has increased but only by half a level. Its qualifications are worrying. When a star pet's bloodline is upgraded, the water squirting animal has a level 3 bloodline. Even if it does not develop, it will naturally mature to level 3 combat power after maturity. If you want to continue to improve your combat power, need to be nurtured. Famnok Kin was suddenly afraid of everyone on the spot, thinking in his heart, looking at that water beast, there was no doubt that it had increased in level. But I've only heard of treasures that can make star pets level up in the Federation's reclamation warehouse. If that's true, then the identity of this shop owner is not ordinary. The girl quickly picked up the water squirting animal, still a bit skeptical. She's really leveled up, you didn't switch it up, did you? Famnok Kin quickly pushed his sister's head down. Now he behaves completely differently than when he first arrived. Sorry, we're the ones who offended. Tabin immediately offered 8,700 yuan per pill, so the price probably won't have to be paid. I'm not doing charity work, please pay. Famnok Kin agreed with his mouth, but in his heart he thought that the treasure that helps pets level up was sold for 8,700 yuan, which is very cheap. Tungu clicked to transfer money. To Bin sighed in his heart. I risked my life to get this precious food. Why am I selling it at such a cheap price? The system doesn't increase the selling price? To Bin mumbled a few words and was warned by the system to curse. To Bin told the two brothers, Your sister's water spewing beast's qualifications are too low. She needs to use the leaves to improve her mind. And the red worm must also use the lava fruit for a long time to fully recover, to rest. Buy more. Famnok Kin quickly urged the little fish to quickly pay the bill. The little fish heard his brother immediately transfer the money. When everyone in the shop saw this incident, their attitudes immediately changed. It's really possible for pets to advance and start competing to buy food for pets. Tabin started to look cheerful and quickly started selling. After a period of busy sales, the system discovered that there was 31,560 Vietnamese dongs in the account and converted it into energy, exchanging 315 energy points, completing the temporary task, giving a chance to enter any nurturing place. In five days, after Tabin saw the suggestion, he excitedly said, finally escaping poverty, finally able to buy the awakening solution. The system opened the store immediately, with a ding sound. The store interface instantly appeared in front of Tabin. Awakening required 100 energy points. Meanwhile, Tabin currently has 315 points. He excitedly pressed the buy button. Tabin looked at the liquid in his hand and couldn't help but whisper, with just this small bottle of medicine, can it really be effective? Forget that you bought it and don't say anything else. It's useless to think too much. Drink first and talk later. After speaking, immediately drink all the medicinal liquid. In the moment of taking the medicine, Tabin immediately felt a strong shock throughout his whole body. His heart beat very fast. Bursts of golden light rushed madly towards his body. His body refined by the golden light became as strong as a veteran gymer. With a whooshing sound, the golden light on Tabin's body gradually decreased. Tabin looked at his body and said with satisfaction, I have finally become a battle pet master. Suddenly there was a noise next to him. His finger immediately swung in that direction. A small fly was easily grabbed by him. Tabin couldn't help but exclaim. The battle pet master's reaction ability was really strong. The system asks if there are 215 energy points left over. Do you want to upgrade the chaos spirit spirit? Use it to nourish pets. The probability of giving birth to low-level pets High-level pets has an extremely small probability. After deciding, Tabin directly pressed the vitality button. The system directly deducted 100 energy values, while the ability value was deducted. In front of Tabin appeared a circle with four statues. Surrounded, green light emitted from it. He shouted success or failure here, and pressed the regeneration button directly. Suddenly, a strong pillar of light exploded in the spiritual pond. Smoke rose everywhere, and continued to diffuse, creating a rumbling sound. A ding sound rang out, level 2 disarming system, level 2 mixed spiritual will successfully nourished, what kind of pet will this be? I only saw the beast's eyes in the spirit lead sparkling with a strange light, 
and a hand made of only mist and bones reached out from the smoke column. Tabin looked at the small misty arm coming out of the spirit lead. This was Tiu Mai Lao. Such a big movement, but actually gave birth to a little marrow Lao? Level 1 Demon Beast. Tiu Mai Lao. Tabin looked at the mist that was giggling in front of his eyes, couldn't see the eruption, was 100 points of energy just that? It's not a good idea to laugh at compliments. The system again reminds you that the nourishment mission has been completed and you will receive a random battle pet book. The primary battle pet master's killing intent skill consumes a certain amount of spiritual power, causing the pet to become violent and able to attack. Work even when seriously injured. Tabin looked at the skill introduction, thinking in his heart that strong people with high-level cultivating skills and adding basic attributes would find it difficult to escape the fate of being killed in the blink of an eye, and murderous intent was just right for a small victory. Big, not too bad. The system prompts to detect that the host has met the mission conditions. To activate the new main mission map, please raise a pet that belongs to you. Ten points will be deducted after seven days of mission failure. To Bin's heart feels extremely great pressure. Even if Thunderlight tested such harsh attributes, it would only be considered a low-level aptitude. To Bin looked at the small arm that was happily playing and couldn't help but smile bitterly. Is talking about the difficulty of this task too great? Is this what you want me to turn waste into treasure? You're too optimistic. At this time, Ti Yen Din was at the door shouting for the boss. Is the boss here? The blue-haired woman next to her said a little surprised. In this corner, there was actually a pet shop open. Tabin heard the sound and quickly opened the door to welcome guests. His face suddenly looked unhappy. Why did he come here for 108 yuan? Tu Yen Din quickly ran forward and Tabin said, I'm Tu Yen Din, not 108 coins. Boss, the lightning test is no longer the same as before. Have you done something to it? Tabin immediately felt guilty and wondered if there was a problem with the pet. He quickly said he would do nothing, but in his mind he thought it was just going for a walk and doing some activities. Are you right? Don't pull the light to try. When the mouse remembered the painful memories of the Thunder Van High world, it couldn't help but panic. Tu Yen Din looked at the trembling thunder light in surprise, analyzing Tu Bin's words, was that an admission of training? The lightning rat that he raised was not afraid of even a level 4 demon dragon cane. He didn't expect to tremble in front of him. Does he have level 5 strength? No, most likely above 6. The blue-haired girl next to her quietly whispered, This boss looks very normal. Are you sure you're going to the right place? Tu Yen Din thought that Tabin might be a hidden powerhouse. She whispered to her friend, It's not convenient to explain now. This boss is most likely level 7. If we anger him, our little lives will be difficult to protect. I don't see it at all. Tabin was thinking in his heart. This time the system did not issue a temporary task. It seems that it has nothing to do with the pet beast. Asking you guys what's wrong, isn't it because I charge too much? As soon as Ti Yen Din heard it, he quickly pondered, how could a lightning rat that had been raised so strongly be only worth 108 dong? This is the boss trying to test my sincerity. Seeing this, she hastily agreed to transfer 1,000 yuan to the pet store. She said, Boss, this is a little thought from me. Please accept it. Take. Tu Yen Din saw the notification that the transfer failed because the other party refused to transfer, and was extremely scared. What is this? Tu Bin looked at the notice and said, What's the joke? Tu Yen Din looked at Tu Bin's face and thought in her heart, It's not a small criticism. That's 5,000 yuan left. She started transferring money again. She was horrified to find that the other party still refused. It wasn't enough. Star. Tu Yen Din transferred money twice in a row. After everything was rejected, he turned his head towards the blue-haired girl. NHAC NHAC help me. This is very important to me. The girl transferred more money to Tu Yen Din. In her heart, Tu Yen Din secretly thought that she had to release the Iron Hunter to catch the perch. Rare opportunity to make friends with such a great boss. This time I desperately tried to transfer 10,000 yuan, but was still refused. Seeing the boss's expression becoming more and more unhappy, one wave of his hand, one breath turned 100,000. Su Bin was so excited that he quickly pressed the accept button. 
The order did not allow the owner to accept money in the name of the store beyond the limit. The store's price could not be changed and it automatically refused the fourth transfer. Tu Yen Din saw the rejected transfer notice, immediately trembling in fear. She panicked and said that we have no eyes, please bid. In his heart, Tu Bin secretly thought, if he transferred money again, he would be angered by the system, so he quickly opened his mouth and said no need, say something. Tu Yen Din was touched, looking so young and still not caring about fame and fortune. She quickly said the purpose of this trip. In a few days I will participate in the competition but her other pets were all seriously injured. I have given my hope to the Thunder Rat. Please keep it for three more days. As soon as Tabin heard, he quickly regained his composure, thinking in his heart that Loi Kuang Tu can return. It's wonderful. This time leveling up little bones will be much more convenient. The system immediately appeared, detected that the customer wanted to raise a pet and displayed a training fee of 10,000 for pets below level 3. Tabin was scared to think that training would make so much money, but now he can only accept level 3 pets and below to make money. Tabin quickly opened his mouth and said that he would train a pet for 3 days, costing 10,000 yuan. Tu Yen Din secretly thought that although 10,000 is not cheap, if it can be upgraded like Loi Kuang Tu before, it is completely worth it. She quickly said no problem in her heart thinking that this is a conscience store, I didn't know before, I missed many development opportunities. Tabin looked at the information on his watch. Suddenly with a cheerful face he said that in addition to fostering, would you like to ask if there are any other services needed? The foster care service at our store can also provide treatment at the same time. Some injuries. Hearing that, to Yen Din's eyes flashed with starlight. Fostering could still treat his injuries. Coming to the hospital, the star pet was far away and more expensive than the foster, so he said to the boss that I wanted to foster him. Tabin told her to summon the pet that she wanted to send out. As soon as she summoned it, these three huge pets covered each other and stood in the small shop. Tu Yen Din smiled and introduced them. The system detects that the customer needs to be raised and immediately issues an order to prevent damage to the store's reputation asking the host to upgrade the breeding tank as soon as possible. Su Bin was immediately alert and asked if it would affect his reputation. What did this mean? The free tank was originally made from scrap spirit stones. Although it also helped the pets grow, it also had a high performance that made the animals guns. Variation. To Bin said angrily, I know there's nothing good, so upgrade. Buy three more foster homes to prevent mutant war pets. Choose to upgrade. After choosing to upgrade and buying three more breeding tanks, the system notifies that the purchase is successful. The deposit fee is 100 yuan per hour. Doubling the breeding tank will not create mutations. Each tank costs one energy point per day to maintain. Maintain. If you don't have enough energy points to maintain, the trench will disappear. As soon as Su Bin heard it, he was so heartbroken that he was vomiting blood. He spent a lot of money to upgrade and had to save energy every day. It was amazing. After stabilizing his mood, Tabin quietly said that three pets should be kept for three days, with a fee of 21,600. Please pay in advance. Tu Yen Din quickly agreed, quickly transferring money to Tabin in her hand. It's scary, this boss is really strange. The system prompts the host to activate the branch mission. Completing the first pet order requires the customer's pet pet strategy training mission to be doubled from the original, and rewards with primary force pills for a period of three days. If they fail, ten accumulated points will be deducted. Please accept it? Tabin looked at the task at hand. The young bone's aptitude had to be nurtured to the upper intermediate level. From level 1 he had to increase his combat power to level 7. Compared to raising lightning rats from level 2 to level 7, maybe even more. Easier, do two tasks at the same time, finger pointing straight towards the receive button. After accepting the mission, Tabin immediately used the opportunity to go to a free training place. He looked at the series of places presented by the system. The most suitable place to practice was to think for a while and decide to choose chaos. The dead spirit world let them go, signaling to enter. Suddenly a few tentacles appeared on the ground pulling them into the red land heavy with the smell of blood. A moment later, he arrived inside the area. 
He looked at the corpse gas filling the space. The smell was so strong that it was difficult for his body to resist. At this moment, behind him was a giant mass of mist ferociously coming towards him, roaring loudly, directly attacking him. Tabin quickly shouted, if there was an enemy, he shouted an order. At this moment, the giant arm directly raised the bone rod in his hand towards Tabin's position. From that blow emitted black energy, with a loud explosion, the mist hit directly at Tabin's position. At this time, the lightning's lightning tried to collide directly with the mist bar, fending off the attack. Giant Skeleton Combat Information Display System, Level 5 Strategy, Poor Character, Has Limb Restructuring Skills. After reading the news, Tabin said, it turned out that not all of the monsters in this training place were king-level monsters. Before he could give the order, he was hit again. The little guy died. The lightning tried to quickly dodge it. Tabin shouted loudly and tried to use lightning. After listening to the instructions, the lightning rat immediately began to accumulate force. The thunder and lightning intertwined. The lightning energy quickly condensed into a long sword. Loi Kuang Tu prepared to attack. Tabin shouted his way out. His sword grabbed his hand. Lightning flashed in the air and shot towards the enemy. The lightning sword slashed at the giant's waist, immediately hitting the enemy, knocking his arm off. The giant bone attacked with his mouth. Loi Kuang Tu couldn't avoid it in time and was directly shocked by the powerful sound wave, causing his internal organs to rupture and die. The jade on the bottom of the giant mist suddenly flashed red light the limb reconstruction skill, the newly injured part radiated great suction, as the sound rang out, fragments from all directions converged. On its side, all the nearby bones stopped condensing and became an even bigger arm than before. Tabin looked at this scene and thought to himself that Knock Knock was a treasure, capable of reattaching broken limbs. He called the two pets back to life, but their fighting spirit was completely gone. Tabin secretly sighed in his heart took out a skill book directly from space, immediately used it, the system immediately prompted, you have mastered the level 1 killing feat. The giant bone wanted to take the opportunity to attack from Tabin's hand, radiating red energy towards the thunder mouse and the small bone. They were enhanced with killing intent and immediately became fearless. Thunderbolt directly used the impact of lightning to shoot upwards, while the small bones attacked below, forming a two-sided attack strategy. The giant condensed energy crazily, suddenly his arm was giant. The giant hit the ground with a powerful punch that directly crushed the ground. Tiu Ko Lao and Loi Kuang died, Tabin also died. After using Tabin to revive on the spot, he calmly looked at the giant, looked at the newly reattached hand and analyzed. Although the attack just now was very strong, it also revealed a fatal weakness, his body size was not large. Symmetry makes it difficult to maintain center of gravity. Once again, the giant threw his fist. The thunder light tried to run straight towards it. In the moment it approached the enemy. Using the lightning shadow skill the image split into two lightning mice to attack. The giant missed. That giant did not expect that there were two lightning mice. Thunder light began to condense energy and then activated the thunder fragment skill. Tabin immediately commanded one to chop off its leg and one to shoot at its neck. I want that gem. With an explosion, the two lightning pole swords directly hit the giant's bones. The giant was broken into three parts. With a crack, the red gem fell to the ground. The system prompts the lightning shadow to complete the destruction. The lightning shadow skill increases the number to create three. Upgrade to multiple thunder shadow remnants. Use the force of lightning to create two clones the probability is extremely small. Can make three. Tabin said proudly that he was able to clone himself many times, very well done. After picking up the fallen ruby, the little skeleton silently squatted on the ground to absorb the energy. Tabin looked at it suspiciously, the system responded, this is the unique undead attraction force of evil pet beasts. Ghost. It can invade the energy of its peers. After swallowing all the energy of the gem, it suddenly pulls out a bone sword. The system prompts it to increase its combat power and comprehend elementary swordsmanship skills. Defeating the giant water skeleton, unexpectedly the little marrow that absorbed the ruby could understand elementary swordsmanship. 
Tabin was surprised and said that it was really unexpected. Suddenly, a teleportation formation appeared behind Tabin. The power of the pet beast and the transmission formation made the lightning mouse's fur stand on end. Tabin also felt bad, cold sweat flowing down, only to see this pet with a cape on its head and wings on its back, covered by the waves. Tabin couldn't help but shout in surprise. What is this? He hastily used appraisal magic to review the information, displaying a table full of question marks. Tabin looked at the situation in front of him, an unusual aura emitted from the pet beast. Is this a high-level creature here? Maybe he can still find a top-level treasure through her. Suddenly, the six-winged female clouded her hand with mist. Blue light suddenly converged towards her. The moment she launched the move, Tabin was absorbed, leaving only her clothes, everyone died. In the space of resurrection, Tabin thought to himself how strong, once meeting, he was sucked to death by soul gas. Without hesitation in his hand, he chose to revive on the spot. Just as the six-winged girl was about to leave, Tabin suddenly revived, and very friendly said are you the final boss, are you smart? Without waiting for him to finish speaking, the six-winged woman sucked him again. Returning to the revival space, Tabin couldn't help but want to see if this was giving people free meals, wasting a lot of precious time. After using random resurrection, Tabin was transported to a very quiet place. When he reached the edge, he discovered that there were all pet animals down there. There was also the six-winged girl from before. He couldn't help but cry out in horror, where is this? Right at this moment, the crowd on the ground also discovered Tabin. The six-winged girl just now was second to none. At this moment, she was extremely terrified. Pointing at Tabin's position, she kept making noises. Suddenly, a giant whirl appeared in the void, holding Tabin captive in his hand. Below was someone huge sitting on a chair like a throne, the leader here. The ring spirit monarch slowly asked, Who are you and how did you get in here? I give you three seconds to answer. The feeling of oppression was so strong, Tabin tried his best to say he was just passing by, wondering if this undead king was trying something on him but hadn't killed him yet. Are you the leader here? Tabin silently assessed, If you are killed in the blink of an eye, it's okay but the forbidden resurrection ability cannot be used because you are imprisoned, if it wastes too much time, leading to failure to complete the task, then life is over. The undead monarch questioned again, you can quietly approach me, you are not a normal person, answer me, I won't ask a third time. In Tabin's mind, he thought, it turns out he's afraid of my strength. He doesn't know about the system's existence. How about taking advantage of this point to deceive? I am the clone of the strongest person in humanity. This time I have come to test your threat level. If it is too great, I will remove it all. The core of ring spirits below were suddenly excited and wanted to rush forward to protect the king. The undead monarch suddenly turned towards his subordinates, his eyes flashing red. Those who had just been screaming for protection were directly attacked. Evaporated until the skin was gone. The female Luke Luke on the side was so scared that she broke out in a cold sweat. Tabin saw that and immediately added fuel to the fire, that was his loyal subordinate. Isn't it painful to kill like that? Are you best at bullying the weak? Before you finished speaking, the undead monarch shot a powerful beam of energy and killed Tabin. The undead monarch slowly spoke to protect not what we need, nothing in this world can threaten us. After Tabin was revived on the spot, his face did not change and he still smiled and asked if it was like that, in his heart he was secretly happy, he was finally fooled, as long as he was not banned, everything would be good. The undead monarch had never been humiliated like this before. Several magic circles immediately opened on his body. The ring in his hand radiated red light. A moment later, flames immediately appeared at Tabin's feet. In a flash, in his eyes he was roasted into ashes. After choosing a place to come back to life, he was once again pierced by a ring that released magical earth thorns. Every time he was killed, Tabin successfully came back to life. A smile appeared on his lips. His heart also became proud. The more he was killed, the less he felt pain, he began to adapt. For unknown reasons, the undead monarch fell into depression, but the tiny human being in front of him was able to continuously reverse the time and space of the magnetic spirit world. 
What exactly is he? Vong Lin Quan wants to hold Dubin in his hand to see what happens. Because he saw that, he quickly grasped the opportunity, quickly walked towards the gemstone ring he had been craving for a long time. In the blink of an eye he placed his hand on the ruby. His mouth shouted, Give it to me. In the moment of recovering the gems into his personal space, Tobin also immediately disappeared. The king was no longer calm at this moment. Standing up angrily, the two best methods can simultaneously cast teleportation distance back to the field of his control. Yet I can't find out where that mortal has disappeared to. Who is he? At this time, Tobin chose to come back to life in a random place. He said in a happy mood, acting like he was happy to run away. Tobin observed the surrounding situation. After confirming his safety, he quickly opened the space to summon the small bone. He directly took out the huge trophy he had just obtained, much bigger than the bone. Got it a long time ago. The ruby was a hundred times larger, and when the little med looked at such a huge gem, the skull almost fell out. Tobin proudly said like it or not, how can my star pet just eat the dew? Absorb it. The next match is your turn. At this moment, somewhere in the chaotic spirit world, enemies everywhere are bearing their fangs and claws to attack Tobin. After absorbing the Hong Nok small bones, they have increased their combat power to level 4, only using it. An elementary knife, directly dealing with fierce enemies. The system also said that the progress had reached 46%. The remaining time was one day. The enemies were pouring in like a flood. Tobin looked at the large crowd of monsters and laughed. Coming to give this much experience. Handing over for you little bone. At this moment, Loi Kuang Tri and Tiu Kok Lao also had a strong fighting spirit and were not afraid at all, after more than half a day of fighting. The system prompts that the combat power of both has increased to level 6 to near level 7 in order. The current mission progress is 94%. The remaining time is 14 minutes. After a long time of fighting, they were now all tired and panting. Tobin looked at the remaining time and didn't expect to lack so much experience. Suddenly, on the defeated leader's body, small tentacles began to appear from nowhere. His eyes also began to emit red energy. Tentacles suddenly went crazy and were released to absorb and look at the surrounding debris. Around. Everyone looked in that direction to see that they were working hard to create another monster. Even bigger than the last one, truly tenacious. As soon as the male lead stood firmly on the ground, he directly increased the killing intent of the pet beast. His mouth spoke at just the right moment. He only needed to kill it to complete the mission. After restructuring, the giant monster brought the iron hook in his hand towards Tobin's mattress. Tobin calmly commanded the small skeleton to use elementary swordsmanship, using it to hit the iron hook. Releasing of the sound was so loud. This attack was no longer effective on the little marrow demon that already had level 6 abilities. The monster had lost, angrily placed his hand on the ground. Suddenly, countless strange hands aimed at Tobin and the pet beast. Without waiting for him to react, they suddenly choked them. At this time, the system prompts to see the remaining time of 7 minutes, 94% has been completed. Pay attention to the task progress. Tobin silently scolded in his heart. This imprisonment technique was difficult to solve. Outside his mouth he quickly shouted loudly to try to attack the monster's center. The two horns of the lightning rat continuously made a hissing sound. As a result, the accumulated lightning fiercely hit them at the center of the giant beast, making a loud explosion. The giant beast was beaten and they looked at Tobin sarcastically. Several strange hands guarded the center position at the critical moment, making this shot completely ineffective. The male protagonist looked at the giant beast in front of him full of tentacles and quickly used appraisal techniques to check the information. What caught his eye was a prompt box full of question marks. In his heart, he secretly thought that the assessment was indeed impossible. But two things were certain. The arms blocking the way were not afraid of lethal skills and that central core was its weak point. At this moment, the system reminded him that there were three minutes left. He quickly turned around and shouted loudly to try to quickly activate the lightning segment that covered the power of the thunder on the surface of his body. Thunderbolt began to act immediately as instructed, frantically gathering the power of thunder and lightning that was taking energy. After applying it to his body, a shield of thunder and lightning was formed instantly, 
strange hands all around the mouse were repelled by electricity. The system immediately appeared. The Thunderlight tried to comprehend the skill of Thundershield, which could use Thunderbeam to protect the body, causing continuous damage to body units in very close proximity and the paralysis effect increased. Twice as much as evil-type enemies. The Lightning Mouse continued to release electricity frantically. Hissing sounds continued to ring around him. Countless monsters were electrocuted to the point of losing control. Monsters in the distance were also paralyzed by the electricity. The effect was doubled. Let them all let go. After Tabin escaped control, he immediately ordered the Little Bone to kill it right now. The Little Bone's clothes were furious. At this time his eyes were red. Not afraid of the monster. Hurry! Dark red energy condensed on its blade. The paralyzed monster could not use its strange hand to defend. A small marrow blade condensed the energy of the whole body and hit the core. The huge dark red energy shot straight into the core. The system prompts both pets to complete the attack, increasing the strategy to level 7. Tabin looked at the small marrow Lu's expression and happily said, The blood gemstone has only been partially absorbed. Wouldn't it be terrible if it were all absorbed later? The system changed the screen again, repeating that the main mission was completed. A part of the mixed team's energy map was received. The side mission was rewarded with three divine powers. And the reward was placed in the storage space. The system sends everything back to the store. Tabin used the appraisal technique on the small bone, which has now reached level 2, combat power level 7, and above average aptitude. Tabin grumbled, was it a miscalculation? The system said, this is an assessment on the data from the beginning of the endless chaos until now. Su Ping suddenly remembered the undead monarch. How could he be rated at level 3 in the endless chaos team? Level 7 in average combat power, above average in aptitude, mastering many lightning system abilities? To Bin applauded. He didn't expect that the lightning type beast could still comprehend it. On stage, when he saw it summoning spirits, he didn't know what everyone would think. He couldn't help but exclaim that it really made people look forward to it. After leaving the spiritual world, from the large storage space, he took out the mission reward. Tabin looked at the scroll in his hand. What is the use of this chaotic star map? This is an ancient, lost cultivation method that has the host's cultivation level. The chaos star map uses itself as the manager of the universe, using the stars to compare acupuncture points on the body, muscles and bones to practice compared to the commonly used Federation star energy. These are two completely different schools, Su Bin couldn't help but excitedly say, so can't I also start practicing? Allowing the essence to condense in the nucleus makes it larger in quality. When using the essence skill, simply rotating it into a vortex can release the essence within the body, thus affecting the outside world. This is the panorama of chaotic mental energy pouring into a single star. Su Ping couldn't help but think. Is the condensation into a tornado trying to absorb other mental forces? He smiled and said, with the active vision of a battle pet master, catching these was too simple. He quickly gesticulated happily to catch a few bright spots. After a while, Tabin looked at his empty hands. Why couldn't he catch these essences passing through his body? He looked down at the essences in his body, thinking in his heart that if there was no way with his hands, what if he used his body? If you cannot block the direction of the flow of energy, what will happen? The male lead immediately tried it, but did not expect the result to be successful. As expected, he could only absorb the energy with his own energy. Tabin suddenly remembered some rewards for completing side missions. Hastily opened the space storage and took out the essence pill, muttering under his breath, wondering what the effect of this power pill was. After taking out the divine power pills, he poured all three pills into his hand. He didn't think much and stuffed them all into his mouth. A moment later, Tabin's body emitted a dazzling light, and the primordial pill in his body grew larger. The system prompts to congratulate the host on entering the panoramic star. Su Bin's information was immediately displayed in front of him, his level, his overall star to small, his average level 3 strategy, and his mastery of the killing intent skill. To Bin finished reading his information, he couldn't help but clasp his hands in joy. This divine power pill only took three pills, and the strategy immediately increased to level three. 
Normally, it takes at least four to five years of practice to reach it. How wonderful! Outwardly asking if the system has a mission of divine power or not? Thanks to the system prompt, which only applies to levels 1 and 2, the host has successfully entered level 3. We invite you to learn more for yourself. Although this universe is a chaotic and virtual star map, it is designed to simulate the real universe. The host is absorbing cultivation. At the same time, please pay attention to guard against big stars to avoid being sucked in. Tabin couldn't help but look down, the nearby planet was absorbing energy. What will happen if you get sucked in, will your practice be interrupted? The system gave a simple answer, destroying the original spirit. As soon as Tabin heard it, he couldn't help but be so scared that he broke out in cold sweat. Opportunities and risks coexist. One side absorbs energy best and stays away from giant stars. Just absorbing smaller things is enough. Like a big fish swallowing a small fish. Also more comfortable than living in in that cultivation area. After a busy day, Tabin returned home and the original owner's mother cooked a delicious blanket. He couldn't help but think to himself. Even though she wasn't the original owner's biological mother, it seemed that the original owner wasn't bad. At least he could feel the warmth of the family. After eating, I learned that Te Lang Wei did not eat today and was busy preparing for the competition. Tabin wondered, now that he had become a level 3, battle pet master, Tabin also wanted to know if he could now receive the punch of the original owner's sister? Suddenly, he discovered that from the crack in Te Lang Wei's door, strong energy was emitted. His curiosity increased. Tabin quickly approached, peeked through the door, internally comforting himself that he was not peeping. But just a brother watching his sister practice. Tabin was startled and frightened as he looked at the raw pill onto Lang Wei's body that was automatically absorbing energy. The male protagonist wondered why his younger sister could absorb the energy just lying there on a very large scale. The spiritual energy around the bed seemed to be automatically drawn into her body by something. This is the cultivation method taught at the Star Academy. Tabin entered the scene and couldn't help but think to himself. The star energy in the world is really weaker than the chaotic star energy in the universe and it is evenly distributed in the universe. The remaining energy is divided between the dense area and the area. Sparse. Faced with this unexpected discovery, Tabin felt happy. If he could learn this way of cultivating in the chaos of the universe, wouldn't his cultivation speed increase significantly? Tabin immediately sat up straight and began to try to rotate his own energy. He immediately discovered that the special thing here was the traction force. When there is enough mass, just relying on rotation to create traction can help. Bring nearby energy to absorb it instead of running everywhere. Tabin grasped the key, so he tried turning it in the opposite direction to see if there was any difference. In her room, Te Lang Wei suddenly felt that it was increasingly difficult to absorb energy, and she was tired and sweaty all over her body. At this time, Tabin increases the difficulty of the game, opens both hands, tries each hand rotating in opposite directions. The energy into Lang Wei's body at this moment was like a flowing stream, being madly absorbed by Tabin's pump. She couldn't help but let out a loud cry, feeling very doubtful in her heart. Tu Lang Wei looked at the sparse energy nearby and thought, it was strange, the energy suddenly condensed and could no longer be absorbed. Why did chaos appear when the energy was running? Could it be that around here? Is there a powerful person passing by? Suddenly the energy in her body was forcibly extracted again. To Lang Wei could no longer control it. She fell to the ground with a cry of, Ah. After a while, she calmed down and analyzed this strange energy. But the direction she just felt was clearly that one, coming from her brother's trash room. At this time, to Bin breathed a sigh of relief behind the door finally grasping the secret. At the naughty pet shop, Tabin is immersed in chaotic energy, cultivating in a constantly rotating universe absorbing energy from all four directions. Tabin could not help but exclaim, the energy of the following stars was continuously being absorbed by him. As long as he knew how to maintain a distance to avoid being sucked in, he could even practice while sleeping. Suddenly, Tabin felt that there were two customers in the store, one big and one small, with energy. This excitement seemed to be caused by Te Yen Din and NHACNHAC. As soon as they heard him mumbling loudly, 
They quickly embarrassedly hugged their chests tightly. What does Tian Din mean when he shouts loudly, Boss, you're not a wolf, are you? Tabin couldn't help but cough twice to cover it up, and quickly opened his mouth to explain, I'm talking about energy. Your energy is too weak. You still have to work hard to cultivate, otherwise, how can you control your star pets, stronger? Tu Yen Din was surprised, thinking in his heart that he said the star pet was stronger, could it be that in these three short days the thunderlight tried to level up again? Tu Bin said on the outside, wait a minute, I'll go get you a star pet, but in his heart he felt guilty, thinking that the level 7 fighting pets brought into the academy are only average level, only level 3 or level 4, right? A moment later, Tabin took Loi Kuang Tu out and said that the money had already been paid when he brought it back, there were no further charges. Tu Yen Din hugged Loi Kuang Tu, wondering if the fur color of the lightning rat had changed. Moreover, the mood of the pet I sent was all down, after a few days of seeing its owner, he was not excited at all. Could it be that he was attached to this place? Just being kept for a few days could already make him angry. Do guns and beasts produce emotions, even if they form an energy contract? From the beginning, the owner and the pet have no feelings, just keep the basic commands. Dissolving the contract has no connection at all. NHAC NHAC looked at the pet's condition and couldn't help but be surprised. Their scent marks seemed to have completely healed, and their fur color was brighter than before. In her heart, Tian Din exclaimed that this was a shop of conscience turned back to thank the owner, and thanked him for taking good care of them. Tabin looked impatient and ordered the guest to be dismissed, saying thank you would be better than buying more food for him to have money. After leaving the pet store, Tian Din and NHAC NHAC went to a shelter to see how strong the lightning rats became after being raised and nurtured. Tian Din said he still had some time before the match and wanted to warm up first. He happily said that NHAC NHAC summoned the strongest pet beast without holding back. NHAC NHAC couldn't help but laugh out loud. So confident, summoning out here as a humanoid rock pet beast. High bloodline. Lan NHAC Neox trump card. Although not yet fully grown, his strength as the battle is already level 5. I hope the lightning test can endure. I mainly want to test the power of the lightning fragment and thunder shadow after image. Lightning tried to attack first, shooting directly towards the Doda treasure. Seeing this, NHAC NHAC was also a careless commander, so let's play with him. Do 2's earth treasure clapped his whole body, emitting energy that vibrated several stone pillars on the right and directly hit the mouse, along with that sound. Gasps rang out. Lightning Test's entire body radiated lightning. The electricity frantically hid among the stone pillars and the electric light and firestone rushed towards Do 2's underground treasure. Do 2 Earth Treasure saw this and quickly kicked the stone pillars in front of him. The broken stones were about to shoot rats. Tu Yen Din saw this and quickly shouted to use the lightning shadow afterglow. After listening to the instructions, lightning tried to use the skill and immediately split into three. NHAC NHAC next to him shouted in disbelief then can be divided into three afterimages. But Tian Din was surprised to say that it was a lot of thunder and lightning remnants. Loi Kuang Tri's relatives took advantage of the Doda treasure trove's surprise and ran straight behind it, wanting to find NHAC NHAC. Seeing this, NHAC NHAC panicked and used pure techniques to block himself, screaming for him to fight with Tang Tang. My shield is very weak. Tian Din replied, don't worry, I just let the mouse approach. I did not order an attack. Secretly analyzing the hidden treasure in his heart, Do 2 is a high level bloodline star pet, with extraordinary observation ability. This is a great opportunity to check the rat's lightning image remnants. At this time, the Do Tuo treasure discovered that NHAC NHAC was in danger, and quickly used the skill to aim directly at the lightning bolt. The moment it was about to collide with NHAC Neox's star shield, the Do Tuo treasure simultaneously launched a move towards NHAC NHAC. Under the thunder light test, a loud noise rang out. The Do Tuo Earth treasure jumped up from the ground and squeezed the thunder light test in his hand. At this time, the three lightning bolts were imprisoned in its hands by the Do Tuo treasure. 
At this moment, the lightning bolts suddenly appeared from nowhere and stepped on the face of the Do Tu treasure. The three remnants in its hands also immediately changed. Lost. Loi Kuang Tu immediately emitted a strong level 7 aura. Level 5 Dia Tang Tu looked at a terrifying thunder rat in front of him. In an instant, his eyes and head trembled, cold sweat poured out, and he turned around in fear. I want to run away. NHAC NHAC couldn't help but be scared when he saw this. It wasn't just that he couldn't catch his true body. Tang Tang felt that the great power of the thunderbolt was greatly different from hers. She knew she couldn't fight. She just wanted to try to cover her master to protect her. Layers of cliffs began to surround them. In a moment, a small closed circle formed. NHAC NHAC still didn't understand what was going on. So he just told his pet that he was safe. Let me go quickly. To Yen Din, even if he saw it with his own eyes, he still couldn't believe it. The Do Tuo Earth Treasure had a high-level bloodline and restraining attributes. He didn't expect to be scared like that by a thunderlight testing the low-level bloodline. It's strange that my lightning bolt is so strong. In the blink of an eye, the match day has come. The MC opened enthusiastically. The annual competition system of Thuong Sun Academy has ended. Now the match officially begins. Appearing from the left is the new black horse to Yen Din from the second year and from the right last year, who entered the top 10 in the middle round, Li K, the seer. The host was still explaining the rules of the contest, so Li K had already taken action to summon his hidden pet beast. Everyone in the stands also began to discuss heatedly. He naturally reserved his pet beast first, not afraid that the other side would target him, right? Even if you make this kind of fundamental mistake, you can't help but be too disdainful. Tu Yen Din secretly analyzed whether the average bloodline water beast was a pet, a water type beast, and good at stalking and sneak attacks. When the space gap opened, Tu Yen Din also summoned a phoenix, the will to control and attribute each other to see who was stronger. The MC shouted. For the first time, player Su sent out a high level Lac Fuang bloodline. For the average water-blooded hidden beast, he is truly a strong enemy. How will he fight? As soon as he finished speaking, he saw Lee K on the field with his arms raised and shouting I gave up. The MC couldn't help but exclaim, did I hear it wrong? The reason is that the player has already asked to lose before competing. Lee replied, that's right, I said I lost this game. Tu Yen Din faced the unexpected victory and was a bit overwhelmed, thinking to himself, He's smiling, what the hell is he thinking? At this moment, the space crack behind Li K suddenly opened. He proudly said, sometimes to make sure the prey takes the bait, bait is indispensable. As soon as he finished speaking, from within the space crack the spider web spread throughout the entire arena. After summoning a land beast, Li K slowly said, although Lak Fuang is not the strongest in your hands, it is certainly difficult to most processed. As for the lightning rat, the rock ox beast, and the hundred tiger beast, they all specialize in fighting on the ground. I just need to send guns and beasts with high combat power to easily defeat them. Only Lak Fuang is good at attacking, even with a level 5 pet, it is difficult to defeat it, so it must be resolved with priority. I'm sorry, classmate Chu, I have investigated your entire file. Just when the schemer was still immersed in himself, in the joy of scheming, a flame flew from the air towards his position. Lee K opened the pure sand to block it. At first, he thought that this move was just a soft, powerless fire. Before the words were finished, the pure sand had already burned. Burned Lee K could not help but let out a pitiful cry. Seeing that the attack was effective, Ti Yin Din saw that he had not finished speaking yet. He angrily shouted to the local beast to use earth magic. Tu Yen Din saw this and quickly gathered his energy to strengthen Lak Fuang. He shouted orders to quickly get away, then used all his strength to attack. Lak Phoenix quickly left the ground. The attack range of land beasts was obviously limited. There was no way to attack the Lak Phoenix that occupied the air. While dodging the ground thorns, Lak Fuang quickly condensed energy, instantly launching two skills, temporary flame and flying bird fire summoning the form of a firebird and a quick fire arrow. Fly towards the plan. 
He calmly commanded the ground beast to use the skill to protect its ground organs, and immediately a giant stone shield covered the ground beast. The two consecutive attacks of the phoenix were easily blocked, causing no harm to the land beast. When the fire disappeared, Tian Din looked at the heavy wall before her eyes. Even though Earth-type pets are said to be resistant to fire, this Earth wall is too hard. Li Ke couldn't help but say proudly, only now realizing the difference, even a level 3 Lac Fuang dares to confront a level 4 adult hunting animal. Monsters use dungeons to imprison, and woven nets cover the battlefield. Began to vibrate loudly, then slowly began to retract in order to suffocate the lower level pet beast. Tu Yen Din and Lac Fuang were also limited in their actions at this moment. She shouted that the net was closing, and Lac Fuang thought of a way to tear the hole. Tu Yen Din watched the dungeon gradually shrink, Lac Fuang coughed fire to destroy the net. Even when frantically attacking, the dungeon was still constantly tightening. In a moment, Tu Yen Din was also restrained and could not move, but she still gritted her teeth and persevered. Lac Fuang struggled in the tight net trying desperately to escape the cage's control, but the sharp iron net injured him more and more every time he moved. Looking at the injured Lac Fuang, President Tian Din cried out in pain to stop struggling. Li K1 raised his glasses and proudly commented that everything was within my calculations. If you give up, you can end your suffering. Although unwilling, Tian Din could not bear to let Lac Fuang continue to be injured. When he was ready to admit defeat, Suddenly a strong light emitted from Lac Fuang's mouth, and the energy from there stopped gathering and compressed. Launch, aim forward and shoot towards the heavy earth wall in front of you. Like a piece of paper cut by a boss of light, the land beasts also lost their ability to act directly from this blow. The judges in the auditorium who witnessed this scene couldn't help but exclaim, Is this the ultimate radiation beam? This is an advanced level 8 skill. The white-haired man spoke first. Although the Lac Fuang belongs to a high-class bloodline, among all the beasts with high-class bloodlines, this pet's actual aptitude is at the bottom. Furthermore, in its inheritance skills, there is basically no maximum radiation skill. Regardless, this phoenix is really good. Most importantly, he hasn't matured yet, co-vice principal Haha reminded with a smile. Don't forget there are other pets of this girl. Loi Kuang Tri also used lightning, and after speaking, the white-clothed man fell into deep thought. This year, a genius appeared again. If she can join the vanguard team, wait until it grows up, for the academy it is a tall tree to lean on. The red-haired girl next to him immediately grabbed my collar and coldly opened her mouth and said her name was, Ti Yen Din is already mine. At the same time, the phoenix on the field continuously emitted intense energy its whole body became surrounded by fire. Tu Yen Din couldn't help but exclaim in surprise, this is a level up. Not only has he mastered level 8 skills, the strategy has also increased to level 4 below. Is this really my lucky phoenix? Suddenly she remembered the owner at the pet store when introducing the care service. Our store's care service, in addition to healing wounds, can also enhance comprehension and improve physical health. In the second game, Li Ke failed again, gritted his teeth and said, What the hell, it's obvious that I'm about to win. As expected, this phoenix is the most difficult to play, so I'll show her the horrors. Actually, Li Ke opened the summoning space, and a giant four-winged monster slowly walked out from there, clearly reaching level 5, the top strategy for warding off magical beasts. But aren't students allowed to bring ferocious beasts with them? What if something happens, girl, you're too conservative, every year there are many people who can't get out of the wasteland. Wa Company was about to refute, at this moment Dong Deputy slowly opened his mouth and said not to worry. There is a strong team of instructors, the referee is made by a high-ranking powerhouse, nothing will happen, as for the magical beast room, it is estimated that they used tricks to hire it, after the game I will give you a lesson. That, at this time, on the field, Lac Fuang watched the giant beast fly straight up into the sky, while the demon room's eyes revealed light and stood silently in place, silent and without any reaction. Li Ke, at the foot of the wind demon beast, immediately ordered the wind demon beast to use all kinds of images to attack, 
but the wind demon beast directly expressed disdain and had no intention of paying attention to him. Lee Kei saw this and thought to himself, the level difference is too big. The wind demon beast doesn't even listen to orders. Risking summoning this beast is still too much for him. I couldn't help but scold him out loud. It was truly disgusting. Tu Yen Din continuously buffed Lak Fuang. At this moment increasing his strength, increasing wind power, enhancing both perception and defense. Seeing Li Ke, after being unable to command the magical beast, she quickly shouted to see if there was an opportunity. Lak Fuang directly attacked the battle pet master. After hearing the instructions, Phoenix used the level 8 skill that had just comprehended the maximum radiation energy that once again condensed in his mouth. The wind demon beast looked at Lak Fuang's actions and suddenly his eyes turned red. Between the electric light and the donkey kick, he immediately rushed in front of Lak Fuang's body, not waiting for Fuang to shoot the ray of light out of his mouth. With just one strike, the magical beast sent the phoenix directly back to the realm of bliss. Tu Yen Din's heart stirred, suddenly panicked. What the hell is this? It's so fast. After the wind demon defeated Lak Fuang, it swayed next to Tu Yen Din. The murderous aura from the giant claw created a small tornado. Tu Yen Din had no way to avoid it. She was so scared that she raised her head and asked what she wanted to do. The howling sound of the wind created a whirlwind. Tu Yen Din was in the whirlwind for a moment, his skin and flesh peeled off, and he was covered in injuries. The Pajong demon beast wanted to continue attacking, while Li Ke was unconscious, while Tu Yen Din was still not awake. The wind demon beast wanted to form several wind formations that really wanted to finish her off. Tu Yen Din could only hastily use the star shield to block the screams from the assistant teacher from the stands. The wind monster completely lost control. The referee ended the match. Right after that, the referee immediately called Fang Then Du to come to the rescue, about to beat Tu Yen Din's small life. A dark red energy boss suddenly appeared to attack the demonic beast room's moves, saving Tu Yen Din at a moment's notice, faster than an eagle came to the rescue. The fire engine looked at this scene and analyzed it as Loi Kuang Tu, but it was not summoned by Tu Yen Din. Loi Kuang Tu was already on the field from the beginning. Loi Kuang Thu's ability to hide this aura is too strong. The wind demon beast saw its attack being blocked by a small mouse, became extremely angry, slowly raised its claws and began to condense the energy of all phenomena. The wind launched again in larger quantities than before. Several times, I wanted to attack. Facing the incoming wind blade, a green light suddenly appeared under the thunder rat's feet. Along with the green light, a summoning formation appeared at the same time, and with a sound, the skill to summon undead spirits was launched. A skeleton swordsman with one hand holding a shield from the magic formation was called out to protect the owner. Immediately, the people in the audience shouted loudly. Loi Kuang Tu could also use demon-type skills, which was amazing. Desire. At this time on the field, the bone swordsman was covering to Yen Din, his whole body behind the shield resisting countless undead killers who all attacked the old shield. The host shouted loudly that he really lived a long time. Loi Kanag try using the demon system's summoning skill again, and can also temporarily block the wind. Loi Kuang Tu looked at his owner. Before his eyes, the culprit who caused many scars cried out threateningly. The wind demon beasts that were blocked three or four times were unwilling to let out an angry scream. At the same time, Two silhouettes of gun beasts disappeared on the same spot, and the entire ground could not withstand their power and was destroyed. Ripped apart. In an instant, two giant blocks of energy, one red and one blue, collided with each other, creating a loud explosion. Tu Yen Din looked at the situation in front of him and could not help but worry and call Loi Kuang Tu, while the host shouted. It was impulsive for the mouse Loi Kuang to confront a level 5 adult wind demon beast. The smoke screen created by the explosion finally dissipated. Obviously, Loi Kuang Tu had no trace of injury, but the wind demon beast behind him was full of Lei Kuang. His body was clearly out of control. Was directly hit by Loi Kuang Tu's lightning. The wind demon beast fell to the ground with a loud thud. The announcer's voice rang out. The wind demon beast actually received a huge wound. 
the thunder rat's power was terrifying and the rat had no intention of stopping its attack. The muscles on his body began to skyrocket, and his hands condensed a dark red murderous aura. The referee above also stuttered when he saw it. The murderous intent was so obvious. Could it be that after killing a wind demon beast in the competition the slightest attempt to kill a pet would have to be stripped of the right to compete? Unable to let a new star with such potential lose his future, he quickly commanded the wind god to fly to stop the mouse. At this time, Loi Kuang Thu's whole body was constantly emitting rays of lightning. Loi Kuang Thu detected movement and slowly turned his head to look back in the blink of an eye. Lightning descended from the sky in all four directions. Direction, dungeon skills start immediately. Fong and Du had no way to avoid being electrocuted. Blocks of lightning continued to strike towards it. The entire arena was filled with rumbling thunder. The referee saw what was happening and called out loudly to quickly return the divine bird. He looked at the pet beast's entire body paralyzed and kneeling on the ground. The referee's heart was terrified. How could Loi Kuang Tu hurt a level 7 deified bird? Even the pet beast that could keep up with its speed could only be counted on the fingers of one hand. Comments began to flow from the audience and it was about the thunder prison. It was said that once the thunder prison was locked, in the blink of an eye, thousands of lightning would penetrate its body. Even the pet beasts of the rock system couldn't stand it. Seeing this, the assistant teacher also said excitedly, originally thinking that being able to use lightning was already extremely high quality. Now even the level 8 thunder prison of 10 directions knew it, the white-haired man snorted. For such a top-notch skill to be learned by a thunder rat, any beast of average bloodline that learned this move would be enough to sell for sky-high prices. The fire girl was secretly startled. Even the level 7 wind god bird was not afraid. It was really courageous. Her mouth couldn't help but exclaim. I like this new person more and more. The wind god bird on the field gradually recovered from the pain. Being injured by a small mouse made it angry. Its body began to condense wind energy frantically, followed by a loud explosion. A giant tornado was formed from the wind that this bird summoned. Seeing that, the whole person began to exude lightning. Both sides were like no one would give up. A big war was coming. It broke out. The referee saw the tense situation, and quickly used his strength to suppress the wind god bird. He shouted loudly for the god bird to calm down. In his heart, he secretly thought that if the bird and mouse lost control and fought here, the entire playing field will be overturned. The tornado has not stopped. Wind energy is now frantically condensing the entire arena. To Yen Din at this time, 